Question 23. It costs a lot to produce full rain. Are people investigating ways, investigating ways to mass produce it? It actually probably no longer does. I think Mitsubishi Company have a major plant in Kyushu in South Island of Japan where they're making large amounts of C60. Um, at the moment its uh, application on a large scale is, is not great because we're still trying to understand how to use it and to some extent we must realize that today we're in an extremely advanced technological age in which a huge amount of funding has been put into certain areas um, which are have been well developed. A, a good example would be computers. Uh, Top-down technology, which is not really nanotechnology or this small scale, has produced computers and the camera which is being used here and the fantastic storage capability of modern hard disks and flash memories. Now, that is the culmination of 50 years of work on silicon-based technology. Billions have been spent on it to develop it to the art that it is at the present time. So, if C60 and molecules can replace this by molecular community, they've got a long way to go. A huge amount of research has got to be put into it to, um, for the industry to change over. And so there's a big, big inertial barrier to overcome, even if we can do it. And it's, um, it should be possible to produce a molecular computer, which maybe is 10 to 100 times smaller in one dimension, maybe um, 10,000 times smaller in two dimensions, and a million times smaller in three dimensions. Um, but we, we don't know how to do that yet. Uh, but it should be possible. Um, and but. Even if we make the major technical breakthrough in the development of the chemistry, we'll still have to go through all the other aspects um, which are involved. And so, if, say you make a molecular computer which is a, a thousand times smaller than the present computer, it may not operate on the same sort of software. And just all that software, you can't, you probably won't be able to transfer it easily. I mean, the brain it seems to be some sort of computing machine but it seems to work a lot differently from the way that our very sort of serial machines work. It, it, we, we still don't understand the brain when we do, if, when and if we do, uh, well we're making a lot of progress and we'll see that it, it's a very clever machine um, indeed um, doing things in ways that I think um, modern computers can't, cannot do it. Uh, probably kind of do it, but I don't know. So that, that's uh, the thing. It, it, I think Mitsubishi are mass producing the material and if it's really um, going to have a bulk um, value then I think it will be come down very very easily in cost. It be, could be a hundred times cheaper as long as there was a bulk application. That's on the cards. But at the moment that isn't the case.